Hey, your viewers and viewers, is, uh, my name is John Red Stratist, and welcome back to Grom Terror in Tibet. This is episode four now. So, remember in the last episode, we went to Upshi Town, we found Major Olivier, and we have been sent on our first task. We have to go to an archaeologist camp and recover a case of ancient texts or something, it is. Now, of course, um, you also remember in the last episode, the uh, world map seemed to bug out like crazy. So, um, I just checked a moment ago before I started recording this. And, um, yeah, it's still bugging out, unfortunately, which is a bit of a problem. So what it means is I'm probably going to have to maybe, like, jump cut uh, sections where we're going through the world map. I'm just going to have to jump cut them out. Uh, so then that way, you know, it's not <laughs> it's not showing the game up, up for being what it is, which is something which is old and a bit buggy. Okay, so, yes, we need to move on. We need to go our... Well, the next place we need to go is to a kind of high pass in the mountains. We need to go back over the border into, into Tibet and continue on our expedition. As usual, this is a part of one big recording session because the save system still doesn't appear to work. See, if I press save like this and then press new save, it says game saved, but I load and there's nothing actually there, which is no good. And of course, if I quit out the game... Because interesting, there's actually no option to go to the main menu, which is kind of weird. But um, if there is an option for continue in the main menu, I haven't seen it, so <laughs> bit of an issue. Right, so we're going to continue on to the High Mountain Pass, everybody, so I'll see you in a second. And we're here. It's actually High Mountain Crossroads, this, ladies and gents. Okay, what do we got? So, are you going with me to China? I've already told you. Yes, we started to discuss it, but you just walked away and did not let me finish. We have a deal. I do business and you protect me. Now you go into your own business and you tell me to set out to the tra on the track alone, that should say, and you're not going to share your profits with me. Thank you for such a business partnership. I moved to tears, really, so I'm the only bad guy. You didn't do any business behind my back, did you? Did you think I didn't hear what Bart told you about Himalayan whistling birds? And what did you share that piece of information with me? True. Yes, you remember that from episode two or whenever it was. All right, let's not get angry. You're the one who's angry. So, what now? As usual, we still save money to buy a plane. Because our business isn't going very well, every penny is needed. I knew I could count on you. How long will, will this take you? You know how to how it is with me. If the weather remains good, I'll be back in a week. Yeah, I think because this obviously is Polish devs, the English from time to time is a bit awkward. Having said that, not encountered anything just yet that I can't understand. I'll be waiting for you here. But be careful, I can't afford losing a friend and stop thinking about the past. Don't talk so much, it's time to go. But wait a while. I'll have a look at our things. Maybe something can be useful for me. All uh, right, I'll wait. Oh, so are we splitting up? Do we have to sort of do a bit of inventory management here? I mean, um, I mean, I don't know, actually. Okay, it sounds like we're going to be splitting up. Grom and Peter are not going to be staying together uh, for the time being. So maybe I should uh, help myself to all his gold. <laughs> Fuck it, let's do that. Grom, you're taking all the gold. Look at that, 960. Uh, we'll leave him, you know, with much of everything else. So what I may do... I may... Mm, I may surrender the sword to him. Peter, you can have an extra sword. <laughs> there you go, laddie. Okay, I don't know, it just frees up a bit of space in Grom's inventory in case I need to pick anything up. Because the thing is, if we're picking up this chest of this ancient, this chest of ancient texts or whatever they are, I imagine that's going to take up a fair bit of space in the inventory, so I'm going to need to keep it fairly free. All right, so, on the side, in fact, actually, we will... If we can do that, <laughs> we'll, we'll take a load of Peter's med kits so that uh, Grom is a, a relatively full... And we'll take some of his canned food as well, actually, and leave him with just two. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, old Peter, but we're uh, not leaving you with many surprises for your travels. You've just got nine slightly stale loaves of bread and two tins of canned food, two tins of rations and one med kit. But at least you've got plenty of blunderbuss ammo and you've got two swords. You can fucking dual wield, bro. All right, so... Well, where do we go now? Exit to map, exit to map. Well, it looks like we can exit to map in all directions, except down below, apparently. Guess we exit to map, do we? This is going to take me back to the map again. All right, it's time for me, says Peter. Mm-hmm, okay. Is he just going to go on his merry way? Going to say farewell, are we? 
No, Grom's just come wandering back in, it seems. Grom? What is it? Ooh, what the fuck just happened? Uh, hi. What is... Hello? Yetis? That's what they're... Oh my god, what the fuck? Well, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Kill these bastards. Yeah. Yeah, come here. But the annoying thing is you have to sort of fucking... Try and keep the mouse. Oh god. Well, he just got fucking owned by that yeti. Uh oh, nope. I need, I need a, I need a knife. Get the knife out. So I can whack this guy. Oi. That's it. Okay, I think we're doing more hits to him than he's doing to us. He does do a lot of... Oh my god. Oof. Right, we got him. We've got him just got kind of locked there. Bloody hell. Well, that was a freaking nightmare, just as well I transferred a load of stuff over from Peter. Well, I didn't realise there were yetis in this game. Then again, you know, it is probably going down that route of, you know, Nazis messing with the occult and with monsters and stuff like that. Okay. Fucking unexpected, <laughs> ladies and gents. <laughs> if we've got yetis in this, then uh, what other monsters might there be? It looks like we've got another note, though. Uh, I need to access notes. Case with ancient documents. Mountain crossroads. In this place, we plan to have next meeting with Peter. Okay, yes. So we have to come back here to meet him up again. Meet up with him again, rather. All right. Well, moving on, I guess. In which case, uh, you know, we'll see you in the next location. Right, we're here. What's this? The Hanging Bridge, apparently. But a statue. Oh, there's like a tiny statue there he's looking at. So sometimes someone crosses this bridge. It's a good sign because the bridge looks like it was to disintegrate in just a while. Someone told me about these figures. Something important. It must have been Bart. Seems to me that he said that the statues protect the road. Or if the statue is alright, this means that evil forces do not await me on the road. Another local legend. You must always be careful, but I must admit that this is a strange country, and sometimes it is worth to trust the knowledge of these people. Anyway, we must go on. Okay. How peculiar. How very strange. There are two guys on the friggin' bridge. Prukpa and Drukpa? There is also a skeleton there on the bridge as well. Don't know if you can see that. Hold on, if we zoom in. Oh god, I can't mm, go over to it, can I, very well? Okay, hold on. Maybe if I uh, move Grom a bit closer. Like this. I don't know. Maybe you can see it. There's, there's like gold there that I'm mousing over at the moment. There's a skeleton right next to it. Something tells me these guys are probably not going to be friendly. Prukpa, somebody's coming. Can't you hear them? Yeah, I wonder who it is. Warn him not to come any closer. Stop. Don't get any closer. You're on the grounds of brave Prukpa and powerful Drukpa. You must pay for crossing the bridge. The gods gave us immortality for our merits during the war. I don't remember who fought against who and which side we were on. It was so long ago. We can die many times and each time we return to life. Even if you kill us now, we'll get reborn, we'll wait for you, and we'll take a cruel vengeance on you. You'll spend months begging for our mercy. Yeah, exactly. Do you think he knows that we're blind? <laughs> uh, hope not. He's too far to see it. So we have the edge over him. You must pay for crossing the bridge. They are lunatics. I won't pay you anything. No, I just got, you know, I've got about fucking 900 gold. He won't pay us anything. Tell him we'll kill him and take ourselves what is due. We'll kill you. Ha. <laughs> okay. This isn't good. I wish I had grenades that maybe I could throw. Uh, let's go down again, I guess. Mm, this don't feel good. I think they've got blunderbusses as well, which is not a good sign. Okay, actually, Grom, before you go near them, maybe it's worth getting yourself up to full life. Hold on. Use one of these things. One of the big med kits. Hmm. Ah, there we are. Drunk some more tea. Right, how are we doing now? 237 or 250. It's, it's good. It'll do. Uh, also, switch out to our rifle again. Because we can. Prukpa, if I were you, I wouldn't come any closer. You'll die before you're even aware of it. Yeah, yeah. Prove it. I'm coming. Maybe a better bit they won't give me conditions. Now, nah, we're going to resist these guys. <laughs> even if it's bad. Get closer. God, we're getting a bit too close for comfort here. I don't like it. Maybe we should switch to the knife in case we have to sort of get... Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. This don't look good. Get out of there. Alright, one of them fired. 
no. Oh, no, don't shoot me. Okay, just whack him. Whack him with the fucking knife. I think we are getting him. God, that guy's trying to get a bead on me with his blunderbuss, but I don't think it's happening. I am, I think, killing him. Okay, that's one down. Oh, God. I did just... Oh, God, that was quite a bit of fucking damage I just took there. Oh, no, no, no. Pause, pause. Right. This is bad. He's got a blunderbuss. I am low on health. Oh, fuck. I can't use while I'm paused. I'm going to have to move very quickly here. Oof. Okay. He doesn't hit very often or hard. So, if we can just get him... Oh, we nearly got him. There we go. Oh, God. I've got his blunderbuss, at least. Oof. I think we are going to need to heal up, though, after that. Figurine. Oh, God. Jesus. Fucking bandits on the bridge over here. Health. 133 out of 250. We're going to need to use another of our large lead med kits. Well, at least we've got another weapon, though. Even if we've only got one shot for it. I guess we can just put it to use. One shot, one use, and all that. Um, yeah, use one of the small med kits, please. Okay. And we'll use up some canned food as well. Okay, I think we're in a better shape now. Alright, get our rifle out. Try not to use any of the rifle ammo either, because it's quite precious. 42 gold here. There we are. Give me that. 1,002. See, I'm already getting plenty of stuff now. If you look here, there's your skeleton. Some unfortunate person who they've murdered, clearly. Right, exit to Mount Mountain Camp Archaeologist Camp. Okay. Right, well, we'll move on then, ladies and gents. Okay, Mountain Camp. Wasn't expecting this one. Heck. Oh, there's someone up there. Who's that? Hans... Hans Dietrich. He's got some canned food, by the looks of it. Four of them, in fact. All right, Hans, you got something Who's to say? Who's there? Oh, God. Don't get any closer. I'll shoot! Stop! One more move and I shoot! Let's see who's faster. I won't hesitate! Drop your gun! Do you hear me? I'll shoot! You want to die? Damn, drop your gun! <laughs> His voice acting, oh god. Well, this is a bit of a standoff I wasn't quite expecting. There's another skeleton up there with something glowing next to it. There's a few good goodies for us to find around here. Oh god, Jesus. That camera work. Oh god, dripping tea. Good lord. Are you alright? Are you hurt? Before you grab a gun, first learn how to shoot. What's wrong with you? It fired by itself. In this country, you rarely meet people, and you just get an idea to shoot one. Idiot! It wasn't like that. I've been staying in this place for a few days because there are plenty of yetis around. In this hut I've got some chances, but in the mountains I'd die immediately. Do I bear any resemblance to a yeti? No, but I heard footsteps and I got scared. I ran outside and... the rest you know. I didn't control who I was aiming at. I was paralyzed with fear. You have no idea how horrible yetis are. They are said to feed on human flesh. Then let's get inside. Let's get in fast. We'll finish the conversation inside. Wow. Glad to see you've changed your mind so quickly. Let's go. Well, this guy seems lovely. <laughs> was all like, oh no, stop where you are, I'm gonna shoot you. I mean, it's an interesting fucking campsite you got here, it looks bloody... Yeah, I'll be honest, it looks kind of fucking weird. Okay, what's this thing? Oh, it's a medkit. Two medkits, in fact, up here. To replenish the ones that I used in that fight versus those two assholes back on the bridge. <laughs> what do you reckon, will that... Oh, wait a minute. Something else just flash. Oh, there's ammo for the rifle under it. Look at that. Two for the price of one. Extra loot, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, let's go and get his canned food as well, because he's got about four of them. Um, oh god. Right, I'm filling up my inventory here. Hans, what's up? What are you doing? Where are you from and how did you get here? I'm Hans Dietrich. I wandered here from fucking hell. You wandered here from Germany? Christ, that's like on the other side of the planet. It took me exactly a year. Once again, I'm sorry I shot at you. Why are you so far away from home? A country which is at war with everybody else. 
I don't identify myself with their sick ideology. Nazism... That says Nazism. <laughs> Nazism is madness. Oh crap, I ran away from it. Okay, and came here. Uh, and what are you doing? I keep clicking sometimes accidentally and speeding the dialogue along before I've technically read it all. Okay, and what are you doing here, says Hans. Or should I say, and, and what are you doing here? Because he's German. After Poland's defeat in 1939, I was taken prisoner by the Soviets. Bit of a history lesson here. As a particularly dangerous person, I was sent to the labour camp 4447. Nobody came back from that place, but I escaped, got here, and stayed here. Are you Polish? Are you surprised that you're still alive? <laughs> Nine, I didn't mean that. I'm sorry for your nation. We couldn't do anything, so we had known what fate awaited you. Who do you mean saying we had known? Before the war, before the war, I was a member of the Lodge of Shining People. Apologies, I'm getting gas. Coming up from my tea. Good lord. Of the Lodge of Shining People, our ideology was based on the existence of a spiritual kingdom of half-gods. Our medium was communicating with them. They gave us information about the war that was coming. When the Nazis got to power, they quickly liquidated all kinds of organisations under cultist groups. Everything that did not match their ideology was immediately eliminated. I was the only member of my group who survived. Thanks to a sheer accident, I was not arrested. I decided to escape the country. Okay, fuck this German accent. <laughs> country and, and personally got in touch with the Shining People. Their kingdom is somewhere in this country. I'll get there and I'll ask them for help. Otherwise, humanity will plunge in chaos for hundreds of years. Great plan. I wish you luck in your mission. My mission is rather prosaic and I won't tell you about it. Let's not spoil such a high-spirited mood. Okay, sure. So, um, can we talk to them even more? I wonder what the Shining People say when they see you. Do they know you? I know that you don't trust me completely, but what I told you is absolutely true. I think that the Shining... Oh? Oh, I hear Yetis. That sounds like... No, Yans, where are you going? Hans, no, 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 no. Stop that. Well, we can suddenly control Hans now, it seems. Uh oh they're both coming. Come on, smack him. Both of you. Get your rifle butts in there. Oh, God, Hans does not friggin... Uh-oh. God, shoot. Yep. Back, back, back. This is bad, this is bad. Oh god, help, help Grom. That's it, just drive this motherfucker off. Okay, Grom is down. That's not good. Get out of their hands. Oh god, this is bad. I've been chased by fucking yetis. Okay, they disappeared. Oof. Hands, do you have anything in your... Oh god, you've got two stones of health. You do have a knife, though, interestingly. Maybe we need to get close and just use a knife or something. Hold on. Oh god, don't move. Going in the knapsack doesn't pause the game in the background. How are you with the knife? Are you better? Not really, no. Rifle is your best, actually, by the looks of it. Oh god, he's coming. Uh, no, you don't. Maybe we can snipe them from various places. Oh no. We need to get into a good position. Okay. Uh, get onto the road over here. Grom is slowly regenerating health by the looks of it. Fucking hell. This is why you need to turn, take these bastards out very quick. Maybe we should be using the uh, Grom's friggin' blunderbuss. Here we are. Oh no, use it. No. Fuck. There we go. There we go, that's one of them down. Oh, hello. Get out of here. Yep. Get him, get him. Oh god, it's hard to target him when he's fucking just moving around kind of crazily. Oof. Hans, you may want to come up here. Grom. What? what okay, he's wandering off up there. What's this? Bart's story? <coughs> Yetis, or Great Indra. These are horrible creatures. When Great Rama ruled the earth, high in the mountains lived a tribe of mountaineers whose trade was robbery. Ominous music coming in at the background. Mm. The Great Lamas requested that they stop robbing caravans. They were doing great harm to themselves by spoiling their own karma. They did evil things for many generations. The great empire of Rama fell, and then their karma came to the surface. Evil deeds gathered in former incarnations changed the cruel tribe of robbers into crazy and bloodthirsty creatures. Never get in their way, but if you fall into their trap, remember that they always travel in flocks and never attack all at once. First one, first one grew, grow, attacks, then another. Oh, great Indra, why do you let so miserable and cruel creatures walk on this earth? Okay, how weird. That's peculiar. Let's go back into the camp. We need to heal um, heal up a little bit here. There you go. Oh fuck, there's more of them. Are you kidding me? Oh god, why is there two of them? 
heal hands up and heal yourself up. Fuck! No, 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 not, not, not a good time, not a good time. Oi! Go on, smack him. Oh, fuck. I need to switch out to the... Okay. Oh, god damn it, Grom's down. God, Hans Dietrich is not a good fucking combat fighter, is he? Oi. Oh, no. Oh, god. So, yeah. Yo. Oh. Damn it. Yeah. Oof. God, they're fucking nightmarish, these things. Yeah, I need to get my fucking knife out. What's the bloody key for the knife? No, 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 not that, not that. Weapon selection. Knife is W. Okay. Ugh. Okay, right, go back. Oh, fuck, that's not good. Oh, I'm being double teamed. Fucking double teamed, you bitches. Oh, piss, that knife is fucking terrible. Yeah, no. Go over here. That's it, lie down. Oh boy. Not ideal, but what can we do? Can't shoot from this place. Okay, he took a shot there. Oh god. Yeah. I mean, it seemed to be a bit dumb at least. Oh god, why did I get up? That's not right. Maybe what I need to do is throw down one of those fucking stones or something. Yo! Why are they so fucking hard to hit? Oh god, help, help, Rom. gonna be out of bloody... God damn it, these guys are so fucking nasty. Come on. Okay, one down. Bloody hell. Why are those guys so fucking tough? Good lord. We really need to heal our characters up here. This is a bloody fine half, this is. We have to use another one. Christ. Two yetis is an absolute nightmare. Let's use up some friggin' canned food. <laughs> I don't know what that Yeti's doing in the background, but good lord. Hands, um, you got your healing stones. Oh, chip. T. Reload that. Right. Lads, you get over here, please. And already loot. Put them on both attack modes so they flip in fire. Right, let's wait for him to come round again. He's only on partial health. Okay, here we go. No, no. No. Okay. Okay, wait for it. We're doing a bit of damage to him if he comes back in sight again. That's it. Yeah. Go over here. That's it. God, why don't you come back a little? Yeah. God, why is it so hard to hit? That's it. No, no. Okay, actually, just fucking let him do that. Try and lure him over. I'm not hitting him at all. I'll shoot from this place. I can now. Oh. Okay, that's it. Keep. Okay. Hans has got his knife out. Oh, thank fuck. For Luck that. is on my side. If you weren't here, probably I wouldn't have survived this attack of the Yetis. What are you going to do now? You'll continue your journey? Probably so. I just get some strength and move on. If you want, you can join me and we'll move on together. Together is always safer. No thanks. Maybe sometime we shall meet again. As you wish. But remember, that this region is not one of the safest. That's true. Oof. You never know who you can encounter here. Hmm. Fucking asshole, I just gave him a load of canned food. You mother of... Good lord. I just gave that guy a load of can canned food, now he's run off. And I've got an empty blunderbuss as well, which is no good either. Oh, that was quite the fight, wasn't it? That was a bit crazy, that was. Freaking Yetis, man. Bloody horrible, aren't they? Jesus, well, is there anything else to see around here? Or are we just moving on to the, um, moving on to the camp? I guess we are, all right. We'll see you at the, at the archaeologist's place then, everybody. Okay, guess what? We got Nazis. Look at them. Those fucking assholes down here. 
sitting around doing whatever they're doing. Okay. Oh god, yeah, look. There's like a guy on patrol down there, Nazi infantry. That's what we're dealing with. What are they saying up there? <laughs> Did he used to say, man, how I love the army? Good lord. Yep. So what was that Olivia was saying? Just about a few guards. Okay, Grom. You're going to need to get down, lad. Because this is not going to be good. Mm. Do I have to stealth this? I feel like, mm, yes. Stealth is the way forward here, I do think. What's this guy doing over here by this pond? Oh, they said they kind of flooded a load of the ruins, didn't they? wonder why. They're peculiar. Is he kind of moving around on a patrol route over there? Looks like it. Right. Yeah, what's this guy over here doing? He's sort of moving between two positions, by the looks of it. Yeah, I wonder if we can get behind him and maybe take him out with a knife or something. Don't know. We'll have to uh, see. Problem is, you know, I feel like these guys are going to be pretty tough. They're probably going to be able to own my face. Because they've got fucking rifles, which is not ideal. Maybe we can uh, move a bit quicker here. If we sort of crouch and move along. Okay. Having said that, the uh, wall does disappear over here. Mm. Okay, he's over there. Ooh. Does that line indicate when you're technically in their sort of range of sight, maybe? Oh, where are you going, bud? What the hell? Okay, actually, it doesn't take much to knife them, does it? Oh god, get over there, knife him! Knife the guy! Well, what is that guy doing? He just fucking went right past. Oi, stop it. Get out of here. Oh god, okay, time to get out, time to get out. Oh god, <laughs> fuck. Get out of there, T. Oh god. No. Okay, he's nearly dead. Okay, this did not fucking work as intended. Okay. Okay, I just got knocked down. Good lord. I mean, I killed a couple of guys. Fuck. So I tried to stealth that. It did not go well. There's a lot of them. There's fucking four there. There's two of them up there. And there could be more off to the right who we can't actually see just yet. Okay. I think we have to wait for Grom to uh, heal up. <laughs> or rather to uh, friggin' recover a load of health again. I tried my best, ladies and gents. That guy's at full health. That guy's only at partial health. Hang on. If I let his blue... If I let Grom's blue bar there go to full before I select him, will he be back at full health? Because that's the thing, your characters, I think, um, if they all end up in that state... Well, actually, no, because Grom's the only one I have right now. So I think your characters can go between two states, either dead or sort of unconscious, which I'm guessing is what Grom is right now. Oh god. Okay, luckily, they can't see anything. Okay, actually, having said that, Grom is not friggin' um, all healed up, is he? Okay, just move Grom over here. You're gonna need to use up some uh, health kit stuff. Hopefully I'll get some more rifle ammo at some point as well. God, I really hope, um, what, what they called, Prupper and Drupper don't reappear on that bridge either. Otherwise that's going to be a potential problem, but, uh, okay, right, we're healed up a bit. So, if we switch back to the rifle, maybe we can do some sniping, I don't know. Who knows? Let's see. See, these guys are all sort of down here now. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Because obviously I'm not quite in their range of sight when I'm lying down. They can't see me. So if I go down here, this guy has his back turned. Maybe we can get behind him and just knife him and take him out. Perhaps, I don't know. Switching to my Mauser for a bit in case I have to rapid fire some shots. Okay, slowly does it. Once we get near him, we'll, uh, oh, what the? Oh god, don't turn this way, please. Fuck! Are you kidding me? Go, get over there! Okay, knife! Knife him! Knife him! Go! Oh, fucking hell. Are you kidding me? Oh god, right, paused. Now lie down and switch back to the rifle again, okay? Ready. Get out of here, you bastard. Right, there's another one down. Uh-oh, he's coming. Okay, oof. 
Okay, these Nazi soldiers are not actually as tough as I thought they'd be. Unless these are just the weaker ones, I don't know. Alright, that guy up there is just not concerned, apparently. And we've got uh, some spare rifle ammo there. Oh, thankfully. God, we need it. And there's more over here as well. Good lord. Is that extra rifle ammo there? It is. Ooh, boy. They are not easy, though. I guess because they come in numbers, it kind of makes it a bit harder. Right. Why have they been flooding these ruins down here? Very peculiar. I guess because they don't want anyone else to see what's in them, do they? Is there anything else over there? There's those two guys still up there. They're not freaking bothered at all. And there's, like, tents down there. I have to remember, actually. Um, I did technically have a uh, map of this, didn't I? It was in here, in Nope, somewhere, Mountain Crossroads. Ah, okay, yeah, this is the site we're in. Archaeologist camp. So the chest is in... Well, it's four tents, and it's in this one up here. So... So it's in that one there. Okay, interesting. Right. Do we necessarily need to take that guy out? Or either of the guys up there? I don't know. I mean, is there anything to find around here? There's like a platform up there with tanks and drums. Oh, there's a mm, tent up there that we can potentially go into. Can, what about this here, this building? Can we go in there? Not by the looks of it. Okay. Do you reckon we can sneak up behind that guy and maybe just knife him? Come on, Grom. Seriously. Go over here, please. My friend. <coughs> My big Polish campaigner. Gonna move on. God. <laughs> Makes a lot of noise as he's moving around. Let's see if we can get up behind this guy and just knife him. I swear, though, if he turns around as I'm trying to approach him, that'll be so infuriating. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. On you go. Okay, we're getting there. Hold on. And we need to fucking reload this Mauser to full. There we are. Right. Okay, hang on. He's gonna he's gonna stay where he is. Okay, go. Oh! Oh! That's it. It's, oh! Oh, you fucking run off, you bastard. You little shit. What's he doing? Where is he? He's there. Where are you going, mate? Okay. Oh, hang on, actually. We could probably snipe him as he comes back up here. Because... Oh, God, he recovered so much health, though, didn't he? Hold on. Those guys up there are just not... Oh, he threw a grenade at me! Oh my god, I didn't realise they could do that. I just saw it flash through the air. Oh, fuck. And now when I recover, he's going to be right there. Shit. I may have put myself in a bit of a bad position here and may just have to run away as fast as I fucking can. This is bad, ladies and gents. Because I'm not in a good position, right? Right, hold on. Any minute. Any minute. He's not going to be fucking... It's bad. This is problematic. Go. No, we died. Shit. Oh, no. Oh, my God. What the fuck is going on with that? Load, load autosave, please. Oh, no. Oh, the autosave feature doesn't work either. Are you kidding me? Ah, I fucking died! And of course, the save system doesn't work! <laughs> oh no! God dang it! Oh, are you kidding me? Jesus, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to look like that in the background. I think the game's just bugged out. Okay, right. So, I am going to have to replay back to where I was. I have to go through everything again. I mean, at least you can skip dialogue. You can actually skip dialogue in this game quite quickly. Shit. That's bollocks. It sucks that the save system's not working. Because that really is a problem. Alright, one second, everybody. Okay. Back at the main menu, then, ladies and gents. So, I'm, I'm going to probably wrap up episode four here, actually. So, it's slightly shorter than, you know, the past episodes, but... Ah, uh, this is a problem. I kind of want to continue on with the game, but... The save system issue is a real problem, that is. Because the problem is, I don't know how long the game is. If I get really far in and die, that's all my progress that I'm going to lose. This is like an ultra-hardcore let's play, <laughs> good lord. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll, um... I was going to say, actually, I'll replay, but... Having said that... If I die, it, oh, fuck. I'm going to need to set aside so much time to replay back to where I was. I'll tell you what, um... What I'm going to do is I'm going to... This, this is going to be the sort of um, 
they kind they kind of <sighs> bloody hell. I, I'm trying to find the right words here. Let's say for now we're going to end it for Grom because, like I say, the save system issue is a major problem. If we can't fucking save the game, then we're just not going to be able to play it because. I'm going to have to end up spending huge amounts of time, copious amounts of time, playing back through things that I've already played, just to get back to where I was. Damn it, I don't know why it doesn't work. That's really fucking weird. Which is a shame, because I really want to see where this game goes. So tell you what, um, if I get an opportunity, if I get some more free time to maybe play back to where I was, and continue and try and do another episode, then I will. However, don't hold, don't hold out for that, ladies and gents. For now, assume that Grom is finished. That's as far as I can go with it. But, like I say, if I can come back to it and do more, then I will come back and do more. So, yes. Um, don't, you know, like I say, just, just don't... Just don't... Assume from here on out that there aren't going to be any more episodes. If I can do them, if I can do more, I'll do it. But don't, you know, hold out for it. Like I say, I'm just repeating myself now. So, there you go. This was Grom, everybody. Grom Terror in Tibet. So, as you can see, 2003 game, interesting concepts going on in it, but it was buggy, and this is one, I think, one of the reasons why, when it came out, it didn't do so well, review-wise, because that's the thing, you know, like I say, it's got interesting ideas behind it, this game, you know, with its very commando style, and um, the idea of being set in Tibet, I think, is quite original, in a sense, because I can't think of any game set in Tibet. Especially not kind of um, the sort of Nazi occult storylines set in this region. Because, you know, th there is a bit of inspiration there. You know, 1938 and 39, the Germans did send expeditions to Tibet. Ernst Schaffer and all them, them guys, you know, they went out there to study Tibetan culture. And this idea that maybe the Aryan race had some connection to it, I don't know. It was weird. I don't, I don't know the specifics of, it, of the case, but yeah. But of course, the problem is you just have to wade through all the bugs and stuff in this game. Which is a bit of a problem. Oh dear. Okay, well there you go everyone, so I hope you'll join me for the next video. Whether that's Grom or whether that's something else, we'll wait and see. If I can try and fix the save issue to get it to work, then I then I will. But if not, then who knows. Maybe you'll see more Grom again in the future, maybe not. But uh, yeah, there you go. Facebook and Twitter links down below everybody, along with my Propagandist channel link if you're interested. In the meantime, um, you know, if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Share my videos with your friends on social media. But in the meantime, I'm signing off now. Goodbye, everybody. That's it. There we go. Fucking hell. Oof, right. I don't think you necessarily need to do it speedily. You just need to keep trying. You just need to get it in the right order. But the sound goes somewhere in the room. That's the cage, no doubt. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Nice to have an audience. I won't lie. Even if they are a bunch of creepy looking demons. Well, good to know that the uh, spirits of hell certainly appreciate good music. Right. Cage door is open. Inside is a puppet. I feel like we have to take it out. Ugh. Well, I can't say I was expecting a hand, but okay. A detached, twisted hand.